really, right, I had a really bad stomach. Okay, now don't worry, I'm not going to get graphic about it. I'm not going to be gross about it. But I will say that I probably owe my toilet like a bottle of wine. <laughs> Some nice flowers or something. Because shit got quite aggressive, literally. And I ended up in A&E. And this beautiful blonde female doctor came into my cubicle, right? And I'm no lesbian, but she was a tasty pavlova. <laughs> I wanted her to love and cuddle me. And she came in, she said, Nermi, I'm so sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to give you a rectal exam. So I said, oh God, yes, yeah, say it again. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said, look, you're the doctor, you do what you gotta do, right? And she said, now Nermi, a rectal exam is where I take my fingers and I put them inside your rectum. And I was like, oh, thank you for clearing that up for me. <laughs> Don't want to know where my head was at. No, that's great, thanks. And thank you for giving me a close-up of your manicure. Looks very pretty and sharp. <laughs> and then I had to get undressed from the waist down. And I think we all know, at any age, any gender, this is probably one of the worst things that can happen to you. Because being fully naked is one thing, isn't it? But being naked from the waist down? <laughs> There's no dignity here. This is not a good look for anybody, unless maybe you're a cartoon duck. Do you leave your socks on? Look even more ridiculous? Or do you take your socks off and look like maybe you're hoping for a cuddle afterwards? I, mean, I don't know the etiquette. But that was what she said to me. She said, undress from the waist down and pop on the bed. And I got all upset, because those are some of the last words my ex-boyfriend ever said to me. Right? <laughs> I did it though, I got on the bed, socks on Jill, yeah? Mama didn't raise no fool, yeah. I got on the bed and she came in, she said, lovely stuff, Nami, so uh, bring your knees into your chest, roll over, face the wall, and try not to move. And I started welling up, because those are actually the exact last words my ex-boyfriend ever said to me. But anyway, I was staring at the wall, I was trying to distract myself, you know, and she leaned over and I could feel her lovely curtain of hair just resting on my shoulder. And she said, I'm going to put my fingers in your anus now. <laughs> and for some reason, I'll never understand, guys. I responded as if she was a waiter recommending the baked camembert. And I went, that'd be lovely. Thank you, two of those. <laughs> Hideous. But take heart if you ever have to go through this, if you haven't already. Um, it was over in seconds, and it honestly didn't even feel like there was anything inside me, which, again, reminded me of my ex-boyfriend, but cheered me up. So, every cloud.